Brothers and sisters, sometimes people plan our downfall and we don't even know. Sometimes behind closed doors, people talk about us. They want to harm us and we don't know. And they are planning and plotting. And sometimes they begin to execute their plots. Suddenly we find out, wow, this person's doing this against us and that person may be doing this. And sometimes they begin to do it and we feel it and we know they want to steal something from you. They want to attack you. They want to slander you. They want to drop you down because sometimes that's what some people do, especially when shaitan takes over. So what should we do in such a case? Verse number 30 of Surah Al-Anfal, Allah says, but they plan and Allah plans. Subhanallah. Wayamkuruna wayamkurullah. They plan and plot. They were plotting. But Allah plots. Allah plans. And who is the better of the planners here? Them or Allah? Allah. Also, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Wamakaru wamakarallahu wallahu khayrul makirin. They plot and plan. And Allah plans. And who is the better of the plotters and planners? It's Allah. Allah's is not actually a plot, it's a plan. So Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. Allah never ever judges you based on your sin. Allah judges you based on your repentance. La ilaha illallah. You can have committed sin all your life. Allah says, you know what? Your judgment is not based on that. It's based on your repentance. Did you repent? Did you turn? Did you become a better person? It's not based on your past. People will never forgive the sin you've committed. Even if you've changed your life totally. In most cases, they won't. That's humankind. We're not Ghafoor. We're not Rahim. We're not Wadud. Allah is Ghafoor Rahim. Allah is the most merciful, the most forgiving, the most compassionate, the most kind, the most good, etc, etc. But people are not. They will throw you out based on one mistake you made. How many of us have been through days where we really thought we were not going to make it? How many of us have been through times when we felt perhaps we won't find a job or we won't get something suitable or we won't be married and today we're seated here with children. If you don't have one thing, you have to have 10 other things that others don't have. Because every single one of us is blessed. I have what you may not have. But trust me, you have what I do not have. Because had wealth been directly connected to the pleasure of the Almighty, the wealthiest of the lot would have been none other than Prophet Muhammad, may peace be upon him. But he went through challenges. He lost in his life his own children one after the other. Was he not loved by Allah? He was loved more than you and I, more than anyone and everyone. We call him the best of creation, the most noble of all prophets. That's what we call him. He went through a hardship. People spoke negatively about him. Don't they speak negatively about us? Would that not then be a sign of the love of the Almighty? My brothers, my sisters, this worldly life, you know, is full of challenges. Nobody has it as they want, not one person. Full of challenges from the beginning to the end. Like I said last week, when you came onto this earth, you actually were crying. That's how bad it was. May Allah grant us goodness. It, it actually brought me to tears. He says, don't judge a person by their sins. When, and I'm talking about your personal sins. Because you might have been there to see the sin. But you were not there to see the repentance. Wow. Wow. That's amazing. Life is extremely difficult. Extremely difficult. Extremely difficult. When you were born, you came to this world. This world is full of obstacles and tests. It is a testing ground. It's like a school. Every week you have an examination at the school. Every week you have a test. Every day some people have tests. If you go to a top private school, they will test you every day what you did yesterday. So this is the best. The dunya, Allah is going to test you one after the other. Every day you will be tested what you did, the, what you learned the previous day or earlier in that day or what you know. Allah will test you. He is emphasizing it so strongly. We will definitely, definitely, definitely test every single one of you. It's going to be test after test after test. That's why you are on earth. Everyone seated here, including myself, 
we have issues we need to deal with. Some of us, when we are tested, we get angry. Some of us, when we are tested, we get depressed. We have small issues. So don't become depressed. The issues are there. That's what the dunya is all about. I'm here to tell you today that hardships in your life would start from the point of birth. Even before anything is written against you, your hardships have started. You have to adjust. If you don't, you get depressed. You become sick. You suffer a sickness, a mental disease because you did not adjust. You have to adjust. When you lost your job or your salary went down or they were retrenching people and you had to go, for example, don't be depressed. Make the most of what you have. Some of the people who are the healthiest and wealthiest are from among those who one day they suffered a dip and then they came up. You know what the Prophet ﷺ in his dua, he used to say, Allahumma arina al-haqqa haqqa. O oh Allah, show us the truth as true. Why? Because you live in an age where the truth looks like a false. It looks like lies sometimes, depending on how people have propped it up or down. Subhanallah, you can see things that look like they are true, but that's a lie. So the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, used to say, Allahumma arin al haqqa haqqa. Oh Allah, show us the truth to be true. Help us so that we are not confused. We need that dua today more than they did at that time because today we are living in an age of Photoshop and video shop and social media where they can con you left, right and center. Allahumma arin al haqqa haqqa. And that dua did not stop there. Oh Allah, show us the truth to be true. Warzukna tiba'ah. And O oh Allah, accept us to be from those who follow the truth.